People are often confused about how they should act around a service dog. This video will teach you what you need to know about service dog etiquette. To start, it's important to know the definition of both a service dog and a service dog in training. By definition of the Americans with Disabilities Act, a service dog is a dog that is individually trained to do work or perform tasks for a person with a disability. In general, service dogs are permitted to accompany people with disabilities in all areas where members of the public are allowed to go. A service dog in training is a dog that is being trained for service work, and service dog law is controlled at the state level. In Connecticut, for an in-training team that's working with a service dog organization, that team has the same public access rights as a service dog team. The handler is required to carry a photo ID from the training organization identifying the team as in-training. For an in-training team without an identification from a service dog organization, they do not have public access rights and they must choose dog-friendly locations for their training. Now that you know what a service dog and service dog in training are, let's talk about how to act if you see a service dog or in-training team. The option preferred by most service dog handlers is to simply ignore their service dog. If you must approach a team, please address the handler directly and not their dog to ask any questions and respect the handler's privacy if they choose not to talk. Service dogs attract a lot of attention and it can be simply exhausting for a handler to frequently be approached about their dog. Please understand that if a handler does not want to talk, they're not being rude. You can use the opportunity as a learning moment as a parent and make sure to teach your children or even your friends never to touch a working service dog and help them understand what they do for their handlers. Most people know that service dogs can guide a blind person or provide mobility assistance. They can also warn their handlers of upcoming fainting, seizures, or cardiac events to allow their handlers time to sit or get to a safe place. They can pick up dropped items or remind someone to take their medication and provide critical grounding and calming tasks for someone with a mental health disorder like PTSD. These are just some examples of the amazing things service dogs can do and why it is so important to not distract them from their work. Here are some things you should not do if you see a service dog. Don't ask questions about their medical record as this can make a handler very uncomfortable. So consider these questions off limits. Don't ask why they have a service dog. Don't ask about their disability. This is someone's private medical information and simply not your business to ask about. Don't try to guess what the service dog is used for as a way to trick their handler into giving out that information. Don't assume that someone doesn't need their service dog just because you can't see their disability. There are so many invisible disabilities and you just can't tell what's going on by someone's physical appearance. Never follow a team, take pictures or video. You wouldn't want someone doing this to you, and this is an invasion of someone's privacy. Please don't tell a person they're lucky to have a service dog, as this can be interpreted as being lucky to have a disability. Don't say that you feel bad for their working service dog. They are healthy and extremely well taken care of. Service dogs need to go through extensive training and temperament tests. Through these tests, only dogs that love to work are selected. If they don't love their job, they wouldn't be selected as a service dog. Don't ask or assume if a dog is wearing a vest or other gear that says in training that the handler is not truly disabled. Most teams finish their training together in public. Don't tell someone that they don't really need their service dog. It's really none of your business why they need their service dog with them. Don't ask or expect a handler to tell you their dog's name, since this can lead to people trying to distract their dogs. Many handlers won't share this information or they'll just provide a fake name. Although service dogs are trained to ignore, they are not robots and they can be distracted from their very important jobs. On that note, you should never try to distract a service dog. This includes petting, name calling, making kissy noises, whistling, offering food or water, or any other way to try to distract them. Distracting a service dog is a class C misdemeanor in the state of Connecticut. This could result in a jail term of up to three months and a fine of up to $500. Service dog handlers are people like you who just want to live their lives. Sometimes they're open to talking about their dogs, but remember it is their choice and their right to only share as much or as little information as they're comfortable. Understand if they're unable to stop and talk about their dogs. They may just be busy or exhausted from constantly being asked. 
or it may take every bit of concentration and energy they have to just do what they came out in public to accomplish. Service dogs are extremely well trained and temperament tested, but they still are living animals and like you and me, they can have bad days. This doesn't mean they're a fake service dog. So if you see a team having a bad day, please just continue to ignore them and let the handler manage their dog as they know best. For more educational videos on service dogs, you can check out our Who is the Exceptional Sidekick playlist. And if you have additional questions that weren't answered in this video, please leave them in the comments below.